some flower rings on my shop yesterday and I just got my first order today so I wanted to show a little behind the scenes slash like tutorial on how I make the rings so these are the different styles that I have in my shop with like alternating colors of flowers I have this one that, which is more like a daisy chain I guess um, and then I have this one with just one flower and a regular band. So yeah, if you are interested in buying them, you can check out my listing. I'll have it linked down below. You get to pick whatever colors that you want. I have a picture of all the beads that I have on the listing. So let's just get started into making the ring. This person ordered um, one style one and one style three ring which is this one. Style one is the one with just one flower and style three is like the daisy chain one and you can use this uh, picture here to pick whatever colors you want. So yeah, there's an option for personalization where you get to list all the colors that you want to use. I have basically any ring size available and here you just choose the different styles according to this picture right here okay so i'm gonna start off by making this ring here which is style three that which is like the daisy chain one um the customer ordered the exact same colors as the ones that i have here which is like a pearly white color a clear yellow for the center and green for the band color so to start off I have a stretch cord loop through the needle um, this just makes it easier when you're making the flowers because you have to go you have to have the string go through the bead multiple times so I just think it's a lot easier if you have a needle to start the flower I'm gonna take one of the petal colors and then one center color which is the yellow and then I'm gonna put three more petal colors if you see here I have one petal color one center color and three petal colors i'm gonna put the flower pretty far down the street just to make sure that i have enough space to make the entire ring and then um, tie it at the end this is what i have right now and then you're gonna take your needle and go through the first petal color which is like the first bead that you put on the string This is what it looks like so far just pull it to tighten and then um, after that you're gonna put two more of the petal colors so this is what it looks like and now we're gonna put the needle through the bead below the center color right the one that's right below it so this one right here put my needle through and just pull it to tighten and this is what the little flower should look like um, so with this style ring I have three of the um, band color between each flower so I'm just gonna put three beads and then I'll show you guys again how I make the flower. I start with one petal color, one center color, and then three petal colors. Okay, so this is what I have so far. And I'm gonna put the needle through the first petal color and then pull. And then I'm gonna put two more petal colors and then go through the petal color that's closest to the 
center, which is this one. And there you have another flower. I'm just going to continue repeating this process and then I'll check back later. So I finished the ring and now I'm just going to tie like a bunch of knots. I usually do anywhere between three and five just to make sure that it's super secure. This can be super annoying if like the strings on the side are not long enough, which is why I kind of overcompensate by making sure that I have a lot of string at the end. Okay, so I finished tying the knot. This is what the ring looks like. I'm just gonna cut off the excess stretch cord. This is how the ring looks. And now I'm gonna start the other one, which is this style right here. This one is a lot um, more simple because there's only one flower in the middle. Since I have quite a bit of this stretch cord left on the needle, I'm just gonna use the, this to make the other ring. I think that this is plenty of space. Well, I'm actually going to thread the band beads through the other side of the side without the needle because the needle at the end like where the hole is is pretty thick so sometimes not all the beads can fit through so I'm just gonna thread them through this side so this person ordered a style one ring with an orange this like pastel orange flower color a yellow center and the this clear color for the band I'm just gonna start by putting the clear beads onto the string for the band um, and I'm actually gonna use tweezers because I feel like it's easier to grip the beads that way so I put the clear beads on the string to make the band and then I'm actually gonna tape down this like loose end so that when I make the flower it doesn't all come off I'm gonna use the side with the needle to make the flower again I'm using the exact same method as before to make the flowers so I have the one petal color one center color and three petal colors and then loop first petal color oh it should look like this oh sorry that's hard to see because um <clears throat> i have it taped on one end but it should look like this so far and then i'm gonna add two more of the petal colors and then loop through the petal color closest to the center color which is this one right here And there you have a little flower. To finish the ring, I'm just gonna put the rest of the band color beads, which was the clear ones. Um, I'm actually gonna remove the needle now because I just feel like it's easier to do since some of the beads don't fit through the needle. I finished the ring this is what it looks like and now I'm just gonna tie it up okay I finally finished tying the string and I'm just gonna cut off the excess and it's all done oh my god you can't even see anything okay yeah these are the two rings that I made. I hope this tutorial kind of is helpful. I feel like it's kind of hard to explain. Um, and I think it is kind of hard in the beginning, but once you make a couple of rings, you can speed up the process. And I usually like doing something while I make them, like watch YouTube videos. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. And if you decide that you don't want to try to make these rings for yourself, you can always purchase them for me through my Etsy shop. I'll have the link in my bio. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!